Hey guys, it's SRC Reptiles, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. And I guess I'll also show you while we're over here my giant day gecko fern just chilling right here on the side of his tank under, or kind of directly to the side of his UVB. But today I actually wanted to tell you all about this device that I have that I've been using for about a year or so. If it's not been a year, it's been kind of close to a year, I want to say. So one of my subscribers, or just someone in the comments, I don't remember either one, um, I don't remember which one, sorry, <laughs> had suggested that I get this because I was having a lot of problems with gnats in the room because of the fact of uh, having insects that I breed to feed to the reptiles and them getting their food and stuff, and it would just ultimately fruit and vegetables attract gnats. It's just going to happen. So I bought this deal. I think it was like $40 on Amazon. Um, and I will show you the glue traps that I purchased instead of the refills for these. Like I, I think it came with six sticky pads. Um, but these things are awesome. I have had this thing running for an entire week and I'm going to pause or actually I'll try to open it without pausing. Cause obviously I don't want you guys to think I'm faking it. <laughs> I just turned it off. So it has low and standard. I always run it on standard. So this has an ultraviolet light that lights up right here. It's got a fan that sucks downwards. So this thing not only catches gnats, um, as you'll see in here, I've got beetles and moths. Um, and also it's caught mosquitoes before. Anything that will randomly get in. But let me see if I'm able to actually open this with one hand, because it's kind of hard. See if I, I should be able to just lay it on its side, because this shouldn't hurt it. Yeah, there we go. So... As you guys can see from it running for a week, and let me just kind of put that there and close it back up. This thing is pretty sticky, but look at everything I have caught. And just from looking, it looks like we've got moths. We've got some midges, which are a type of, uh, well, I don't really know if you want to say it's a type of gnat. Midges normally uh, like pollinate flowers and stuff. So they may or may not just be kind of accidentally getting in the house, but... I am not... Oh, we do have one carpet beetle, so I'll kind of point it out. But as you can see, there is a ton of gnats. And uh, it looks like we even have a leaf hopper right here. Um, so as you can see, and also a bunch of moths. So yeah, you can see just how much... One time I had a lace wing that I caught in here, which I like those, so I normally release them. Lace wings are good for your garden. They eat aphids and stuff. Um, I had a click beetle one time that uh, I somehow had in here and he was still alive so I released him because he really doesn't pose any like threat to my reptiles or anything like that. I really don't even know how he got in but yeah this thing's pretty awesome. It catches stuff very efficiently and uh, like I said I will show you this is just one-sided. It doesn't have two sides or at least not that I'm aware of because I've tried before and I've not been able to like peel a second side off. But, like, this thing is extremely simple. It has really small holes. So most of the time, stuff is not going to be escaping unless it's, like, super tiny. But if you look, because of this fan and how, like, uh, hard, I guess, it sucks insects in, most of the time it will immediately blow them onto here and they don't even have a chance to escape. Because you can see some of these are pretty tiny. They would have no issue getting out through these holes but yet it catches them without issue and they're not escaping. So, and as you can see, some stuff over here on the edge, maybe it tried to crawl and get away, but for the most part, it is all in the center with like a few things on the edge. So, like I said, I believe this cost $40 and I can't remember if I, I think it qualifies for free shipping because, you know, it's over $25 on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, you probably can get like free two-day shipping or whatever. Um, It comes with a little... A uh, plug-in that has this kind of a port. I really don't know what that is called. Just pop this back in. But uh, yeah, I will take you to my gaming room real quick, which I'll pause it and take you there. And I will show you the sticky deals I bought to just cut out the shape of manually. Because a lot of people's only complaints on this uh, deal. And so you know, it will not catch house flies. <laughs> Someone was complaining about that in the com or in the reviews. This is not marketed for houseflies. It's marketed for gnats. So that's even why they spelled it catchy with a K because gnat is K-N-A-T. So 
Or at least I think that's why they named it like that. But anyway, it does not catch houseflies. It, it's made for mainly gnats, but you can see from this, it also catches other stuff. Uh, leaf hoppers and uh, plant hoppers, moths, small beetles, gnats of all sorts, midges, uh, lace wings, like I said before. So, um, but the only complaint, like I was saying, is these are really expensive to buy refills of which I know it's just them trying to make money. So you can literally buy these double-sided sticky traps that are for uh, out in the garden. And like I said, I'll show them to you. And you can buy those. I think you can get a pack of 10. They're double-sided. So once one side is full, you can flip it over and use the other side. Um, and I th don't recall how much they cost, but I will get on Amazon and look at my purchase history and I'll put the numbers in the video for you and like some photos. But anyway, let's go and I'll show you what those look like. And real quick, I will have this running and let you guys listen. It's not super loud. And I really don't know if you're able to pick it up or not, but... So you can kind of hear the difference between standard and low, which I always use standard because low really doesn't suck anything up. But anyway, yeah, to the gaming room. So this is the pack I have, and it actually looks like I have more than 10 that came in here. And I actually have one of these hanging in my living room because for a while we were kind of having issues with gnats in our living room because we have bananas in the kitchen. But I will show it to you. So it looks like this. It's kind of bent, so whenever I cut them to shape, I will normally lay them opposite side down and have something heavy laying on them so it can help them flatten out. But uh, yeah, it's just these yellow double-sided sticky deals. It comes with little hole punches, so if you did want to hang it in your house. Um, I think maybe this is to hold it if you're putting it like in your garden, and it comes with some little uh, metal bendy dealies. <laughs> I forget what these are called. Twisty ties, my parents used to always call them when I was little. Don't really know if these are actually called twisty ties. Like I said, I'll put the price on the video, but you can see you get a pretty decent amount of these. And I have only ever used one because I figured I might as well use all of the ones that came with the catcher first and then use these up. But I think I can get two cutouts from each pad if I cut at the corner areas. Um, but anyway, I'll show you in the living room the deal I have hung up and I might have to turn the light on. But you can see this is just the one we have by our fireplace and you can see how... Oh, it's not wanting to focus. Okay, there we go. You can see how even in here we've caught some random gnats. So we've got three on that side. It looks like we have three, four, four on this side it looks like. So we just have this hanging right here from just a cord for our lamp just to attract gnats and stuff. Now in here, aside from the whole banana thing that is kind of causing the gnats, I obviously have the, my hissing cockroaches in their planted tank, which you can see some of their little babies. But uh, the plants also attract gnats, you know, decomposing plant matter, all that stuff. So it is catching some of them. We'll still see gnats on occasion. Obviously, it's not like an ultraviolet light attracting them with that being there. But it still helps. So hopefully this kind of review type deal, this video, hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Hopefully, if you also have gnat issues, if you have reptiles and you're dealing with having to try to kill gnats and stuff, because it was getting annoying, they'd get in the reptile tanks because they'd crawl through the mesh or whatever, and it was very frustrating. They'd get in with the dubia roaches when I'm breeding them and stuff. So, yeah, this has worked really well. So I highly recommend it for anybody that's just wanting to... Uh, turn this thing on and leave it running for a week. Like, I never have issues. And obviously, if there's power outage, it'll turn itself off. So it does not turn itself back on, so you'll just have to check on it if you want it continuously running. Now, obviously, I'll let it run for like five or six days. Um, normally, I don't let it run for a week. I'll turn it off for a couple days to let it cool down if it feels warm at all from running. But like I said, it's just a tiny little fan and an ultraviolet light, so it's not like using a lot of electricity. Um, so it doesn't normally like heat up or anything. It doesn't normally get hot, the little motor or whatever. So that is the nice thing. You really don't have to worry about any type of concern about causing a fire or anything. Obviously, don't get it wet. 
Thank you so much for watching my little review. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. It always encourages me to make more videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.